Hello everyone, my name is Dan and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make your first steps into Android development and uh, we'll install um, Android SDK software development kit and uh, Android uh, development tools for Eclipse so we'll be working in Eclipse with Android development tools which is the most uh, used uh, development environment for Android and uh, let's get started so uh, first thing you need to download the Android SDK just go to Google and type in Android SDK and go to first link pick up the zip version and uh, just uh, uh, extract it in a C or somewhere somewhere you'll have a uh, somewhere you have at least uh, 3 gigabytes of space okay so here we go I'll just put mine on the desktop okay open it and open the SDK manager and uh, SDK manager uh, holds the information for different APIs so uh, just uh, check uh, API 14 and uh, this gingerbread version and uh, this Froyo version I think it's Froyo API 7 right okay so click installed I installed mine already so after you've done this it's gonna it's gonna take uh, at least 30 minutes so you can just uh, pause the video and uh, then resume it after you've done it so uh, I've got uh, mine installed already remember not to check uh, dual screen APIs by Kyocera because uh, it gets stuck here I don't know if they fix it or not and it's uh, very unlikely you'll be using uh, their APIs after this uh, open the AVD manager and here you can add uh, new emulators so you can test your application on different emulators so let's say uh, we choose um, uh, sorry. choose SD card 20 megabytes uh, just leave default don't enable snapshot yet and click create okay you can create uh, more emulators so go ahead and create more for each uh, platform let's delete this one okay. close it after this we need to download the uh, Eclipse and go ahead to the Eclipse uh, website and uh, choose Eclipse ID for Java developers and uh, choose which version you prefer and uh, should start now meanwhile let's uh, download the JDK if you don't have it already so go to download JDK Java uh, JDK here okay so click this link click accept uh, agreement license and here we go okay uh, now the, that uh, Eclipse has been downloaded just extract it somewhere and uh, the first time you uh, you launch Eclipse it's gonna prompt you to to write uh, the default workspace pass so uh, be sure to to pick a good location for it mine is in C for example and uh, after this just start Eclipse okay mine is in C so I'll delete this one and uh, just go to window open perspective other and Java default so it's gonna show something like this and last thing we need to do is to download the Android development tools so go to Google and download uh, ADT Eclipse 
and uh, here is a page for ADT plugin for Eclipse just uh, copy paste this URL okay I'll copy it go to Eclipse go to help install new software uh, paste it here okay so just name it how you want Android ADT ADT okay click OK and uh, click uh, check them all click next and uh, Eclipse will, will uh, install them click I agree license etc etc now that you've done that uh, restart Eclipse and uh, this small icon should appear uh, here on top and we can start uh, we can start our first project so just click um, new wizard new project wizard type in click next select API version 4.0 remember this is important this, is, this stuff is important ok click next application name hello world .com. your name dot hello world App main. Our main act, uh, activity here is the main activity I like to call my main click finish leave minimum SDK 14 click finish and uh, uh, now it's building the workspace for this uh, application so here's how it looks uh, don't worry about the errors they're gonna disappear in uh, very shortly so here is a project uh, structure if you go to rest layout main.xml it's going to show how uh, how the graphical uh, uh, interface of our application is going to look like okay so here we can switch between uh, different uh, views let's delete it and drag uh, here are some widgets you can uh, drag and drop them and just uh, you can click show in properties so here in this uh, tab we can edit uh, this control directly let's say a text hello or and we'll save it next thing go to android manifest.xml uh, manifest is a uh, a collection uh, that defines uh, different uh, different things uh, uh, like uh, mean SDK version, um, different intents and activities. We'll we'll talk about them later. And uh, put in mean SDK version put uh, seven. And remember here to always put in your application the minimum uh, SDK version that your code uh, is using so uh, more and more people will be able to install your application okay so we go back to main.java here is uh, the heart heart <laughs> of, uh, of our application and uh, just click run okay so from uh, run select android application click okay and uh, hey this won't uh, no, no no so from run it won't appear that it will appear something just a second so if you click run uh, this will appear so it's gonna prompt you to choose a, a device if your phone is connected by USB and uh, for example, if you have a Samsung, uh, I think you'll you'll have to install Samsung keys or their drivers. But uh, I think with newer phones, they just appear here. If not, it's not a problem. Just click uh, launching new Android virtual device and click, uh, for example, 2.1. Click OK, and uh, now the emulator is starting. It uh, should take about 20 seconds to boot up. Mm. 
let's go back to our layout as you can see here are some widgets you can just drag and drop them and uh, we'll, uh, we'll go over all of them almost all of them in the next uh, here is a new one, I didn't see this one nice 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 very nice indeed so the emulator just booted and if we unlock it uh, we, we see our application is running and uh, no errors whatsoever so uh, you can click home so here it is our first application don't mind this this was just just a test okay so uh, here it is our first uh, application congratulations and uh, if you you'd like to learn more just watch uh, the next video videos and uh, we'll uh, go in depth uh, with the knowledge thank you for watching and uh, until next time.